Joining me now is Mark Medownick. He is coming to us virtually, and he is the winner of this year's Impact Award. Thanks for joining us, Mark. Thank you for inviting me. I'm sorry I can't be there in person, unfortunately, but it's great to have this opportunity to talk to everyone. Mark, you've done lots of great work amplifying material science to a broader audience. What inspired you to do this? Well, I just love materials. It's kind of as simple as that. I've always loved them. And in the last hundred years, material science has kind of delivered this incredible bounty. And I just wanted people to understand how significant that is and how incredible materials are in their lives. One example of this work is your book, Stuff Matters. How were you able to make complex concepts so accessible in your writing? Well, that's, yeah, I'm not sure. Well, I try. <laughs> But I think, um, I think one of the things I don't do is try to explain everything. So I, I think it, these books are aimed at people who know nothing about materials, how they work under the bonnet, as it were. And so I tell stories. I think that's the key thing. Every time there's a new material comes out, it's really about meeting a human need or desire or fantasy. And, and trying to get that across is what I mainly do. And then stories, because people love stories... They then get interested, and then when they're interested, then you can tell them some of the technical details. In addition to making science more accessible, you've put lots of effort into solving issues around plastic waste. So tell us about the work you're doing at the Plastic Waste Innovation Hub. Yeah, well, so I've I, yeah, been doing lots of material science research over the years, and I give lots of talks to schools and things. And I gave this talk to a primary school, and... They were all like really excited about the kind of extreme, you know, shape memory alloys and all these kind of crazy materials I was talking about. And they were like, what are you doing about plastic waste? What are you doing about plastic waste? And I was like, oh, I, I don't work in that area. Like, that's what other people do. And they were like so upset. And they were like, well, but hold on a minute. That's the most important thing to work on. And I was like, well, you know, but the thing is, like academics, we kind of work in the... And anyway, I went home <laughs> and I thought, they're right they're right we should be working on stuff that is urgently needed and so then i looked who's working in plastic waste at material science departments i can hardly find anyone i was i was so gobsmacked so i was like we've got to do something about this so i started working in the area and now working area trying to understand how it is of course that we make these amazing materials plastics they are incredible and then we just don't look after them like we just we don't we don't take care of them and they're wonderful materials so that's up to us. Material sure scientists have to really sort this out. Uh, so we do lots of work in uh, new new recycling technologies, biodegradation technologies. It's it's fascinating area actually. I'm really loving it. Why should researchers prioritize accessible science communication, especially when they're dealing with climate issues? Well, I think the two go together. To be honest, I think climate issues about people. Actually, most of the technical solutions in the short term are already around. It's not actually about um, having to invent whole new things, really. It's actually getting people to understand that it's really urgent. We have to persuade them to change the way they live and make decisions in a different way. I mean, that's really why I'm not at this meeting, is that I don't think I can justify spending two and a half tonnes of CO2 to come and be bigged up by you all and I love that and I sort of you know everyone hey Mark well done but actually in the meantime I spent a lot of CO2 emissions and I, I feel like shouldn't be doing that if it's not urgent. Communicating those issues is really about us scientists getting out there with the public and, and saying to them you know what we've looked at the data and it's not looking good like and you can trust us like so the trust issue that's about communication. Thank you so much, Mark, for joining us. Well, thank you so much for giving me this award. I just feel so grateful and sort of honored. And, you know, MRS, like you're the, you know, you're the best. So to be honored by the Materials Research Society, well, that's, that's a big one for me. So I'm very, very happy for that and hope to see you all in person at some point when we can do it sustainably.